Now, from Minnesota's most watched station, this is WCCO 4 News Saturday morning. 10, just a couple of weekends left to check out the spring parade of homes with more than 500 new and remodeled homes. There's a lot to see this year and homes are spread out across Minnesota from down in Faribault to up in Cambridge, even a few over in western Wisconsin. All right, Mike, you were in Florida yesterday. Totally fine because you were on vacation, but I know that you love doing these. I do. I love to kind of snoop in people's homes. And there were a couple bathtubs that you would have liked to have laid in. I know that's your thing, too. We actually did bring this up on the way there. We said, that's a tub that Mike would definitely go in. So we've done these in the past. Let's take a look at two homes, Minneapolis and Edina. We started from the exterior. Uh, my architect and I uh, went around for about an hour in the neighborhood trying to figure out what design we were gonna put to fit between the two colonials. And we really wanted it to fit in. The light in this place is amazing. Light comes in from the uh, east, yep. comes all the way through the south, and at the end of the day comes all the way through the uh, uh, parlor area. All day long this house is lit up. A really big center island. This thing is uh, nine foot by five foot this in size. This is huge. This is amazing. It, it is, and you know what's nice about it? We used a uh, quartz surface on here, and you'll notice in the in the kitchen, there's a lot of contrasting between the light and dark. Yes. And even the uh, the kitchen hood up there, we had a uh, uh, custom hood made by Raw Earth. It's distressed metal. As you turn the corner, we wanted that to be a piece of jewelry. Walking into the master. Beautiful. Again, a lot of use of light. I really like the detail of the ceiling lines, yes. which brings in an architectural flair in here. It's Very like spacious. a spa. It really is. <laughs> it's very comfortable. We used all uh, marble, which seems to be another big trend. Yes. The Carrera uh, tiles. And then the uh, lady slipper tub. What's there not to love about that? I can't think of a single thing that I wouldn't love about that. Let's start with the main level here. You've got a big open design, and this level was designed for entertaining. It sure uh, is. I mean, think how many people you could fit in here. Exactly. So you've got your gourmet kitchen, but the best feature of the main level, in my opinion, is this porch. And so you really can bring the outside in. This is a Marvin product. It's their lift and slide door, and it goes all the way into the wall. So on days like today, you can feel the breeze, listen to the birds, and enjoy the weather. All right, well, I'd like to uh, show you the basement here, which is um, just a great space. So um, the things to notice down here is you obviously have a great area for sitting and watching movies, relaxing with the family, taking in the big game. This is actually one of the oak trees that was taken down on the property, and we had it milled, uh, kiln dried it, and stained it, and now it's going to be part of the house forever. Not everybody obviously has the budget for those no, types of homes, but no, in fact, most of us do don't. <laughs> but what I like is you can take one idea yes. from each of the homes and kind of assemble them into whatever your own personal style is. I thought that the wine rack in the second home was really neat. If you go back and watch the story at WCCO.com, it was something they had custom made, but it was just steel. So you got to imagine that's yeah. pretty easy. If you, if you know someone who's a steel worker sure. can find someone, I just thought it was really neat to pick up a couple ideas. Or sure. you can do what we've done. Yes. We talked about a thousand times, which is like on every third Thursday, I get the home and yes, we Natalie rotate. gets it on Fridays and we just split it like 26 ways. It's a commune is sure. what it would be. <laughs> All right, the Parade of Homes goes from noon until 6 today and tomorrow. It runs Thursdays through Sundays until March 20th. You have plenty of time to get there, but, but don't miss it because it's really fun. To see a map of where the homes are located, head to WCCO.com slash links. Most of the homes are free to yeah. go to. The dream homes are $5, but that usually goes to charity. Sounds great. Yeah. Cool.